So they get Preston Achua that contract. They still have that mid-level player exception that they can utilize to get another player on this team. Maybe that's a backup. Maybe that's another uh, center. Maybe that's somebody else that we're not thinking about. Now, you heard me at the start of the show. Well, Troy, if they look at the free agent market, there's no free agents available there that the Knicks should go after. That's true. But if you're creative and you search really hard, you'll find a name. Maybe a name you don't like, but you'll find one. According to reports, an NBA executive wants the New York Knicks to sign Omer Yurvitsen. Now, I'm sure you guys remember him. He was part of the Miami Heat a few years ago, and he had an okay type of season. He wasn't great by any stretch of the means, but he was good in the minutes that he did play. He did have an impact, and I remember at the time, a lot of people were saying the Heat struck gold. They got another one. This kid is going to be great. Until he wasn't. Then he was traded and did absolutely nothing. But now, potentially, this could be a time for the Knicks to be creative, look at the free agent market, even names that they weren't even considering of looking at, and potentially make the move and get that player on this team. And I want to remind everybody again that the Knicks recently re-signed Preston Achua to a one-year deal worth $6 million. Achua waived his no-trade clause as part of that deal as well, too. But again, he is currently one of the backups for the Knicks either at power forward or the backup center position. Most people would rather him play that center position because we need a legitimate backup behind Mitchell Robinson. And if we can't get that player, Achua makes a lot of sense because he did it last year for the Knicks and he did it in pretty good fashion. He was playing well, doing good with Jalen Brunson, doing everything that you wanted to see out of a backup big man. Even though that's not his natural role, not the role he likes to play, if it's needed and necessary, Tom Thibodeau now has the option to go to it. But Tom Thibodeau considers Preston Achua more of a backup power forward. That means you still need a legitimate backup center on this roster. So maybe if that's the case, you take some advice from this NBA executive and you look to try to get Omer Yurvitsen on this roster. Maybe you do that if you're the Knicks. Let's take a look at exactly what this NBA executive had to say and why he wants the Knicks to go after this guy and target him. According to that executive, he states, for what they need, he might be a really good fit. His defense has always been a question mark, but they did a good job with Hartenstein on that, and I think they could do the same with Jorvidsson on that end as well too. When we have seen him, he's been very active on the glass, a pretty good scorer, and if you want someone you can bring off the bench and be a contrast to what you get with Mitchell Robinson, I think you'd have to consider him. Once again, Yervitsen is 26, so he's still pretty young. He played his first two seasons with the Heat before signing with the Jazz a year ago. While he wasn't a good fit with Utah, he flashed some potential with Miami. In 56 games during his rookie season, he averaged 5.3 points and had 5.3 rebounds per game for the Heat. He dealt with an ankle injury in his second year, which led to the Heat to move on from him. So we have to understand, he might have stayed a Heat if he didn't have that injury. Because before that time, he was impactful, he was doing his thing, and he actually was uh, helpful on the rebounding end and on the defensive end. And the Heat needed more defenders. They needed other players on that roster in case somebody went down with injury. Now, it didn't work out that way, and they went their separate ways. But the plan was eventually for Yomir to be pretty good, to be a pretty good player for that team and to be part of that rotation significantly. It just didn't work out. Injuries, other players becoming available. But now, chances are coming up that, again, he could be somebody that the Knicks could target, go after, and get on this team. He can rebound. Not a great defender, but he can learn to defend under Tom Thibodeau. He's not going to play a lot of minutes under Mitchell Robinson, maybe a few minutes, but that's still something to consider because even if it's a few minutes, you have to consider Mitchell Robinson still being somebody that could go down with injury and you're going to need a replacement anyways. We have a super chat, so I want to go to that really quick before we continue here. Tony uh, Riviera says, we need a defensive center that can score. Let's go, Knicks. I appreciate you, Tony. Thank you so much for the super chat and for that comment. I agree with you as well. We do need a defensive center that can score. Mitchell Robinson is going to get you all of those rebounds. Sometimes those put back dunks and, of course, those block shots. But a lot of time, he's not going to give you anything on offense. That's why Omir Yervitsen, he might be a very good player for the Knicks to go after. 
because he does give you some offense. He does give you the rebounding. He can block shots. Maybe he's not the greatest defender, but he can learn that under Tom Thibodeau. He might not play a lot of minutes under Mitchell Robinson. He might play 18 minutes, 15 minutes. But you know what? That's still very good. It takes time away from Mitchell Robinson having to play more minutes. And if that's the case, that means you might have a healthier roster to end the season. And that's why you make an addition like this. That's why you add a guy like Yomir to this roster. Even though we have Preston Achua and we just re-signed him to be on this team, we don't know necessarily if he's going to be that backup big for the Knicks. As mentioned earlier, Tom Thibodeau does not see him as a backup center. He only played him as a backup center last season because he was forced to. If he's not forced to this season, will he still do so or will he go to Jericho Sims? That's going to be the main question. But if he's going to play Preston Chua as the backup center, then maybe you don't need to get Yurvitsen. But if Achua is never going to see any real or legitimate time playing the backup center position, then the Knicks must get another backup big on this roster using their mid-level exception. And right now, I'm pointing to Omer Yurvitsen. Having more size on your roster has no issue with me because you already know with the Knicks big man, Jericho Sims is green. He can't play significant minutes. We've already seen that before. That experiment has not worked. Maybe he's going to change my mind this year, but he didn't do that last year. I didn't play enough last year to be able to do enough this year to change my mind. But we'll see with that. Mitchell Robinson goes down. We're going to have a big hole at the center position, and we're not going to know what to do. So the Knicks going after any potential free agent center, getting him on this team as insurance, just in case somebody goes down, I would love for them to do that. That's the best course of action for them right now. He may not be the sexiest name. He may not be the greatest fit of everybody available. And of course, if they went to free agency earlier, there would have been better names they could have went after and maybe got some of those names for a cheaper deal because maybe they would want to sign with the Knicks at a vet minimum or whatever the case may be because we were a contender or excuse me, because we are a contender. So maybe that they could have done that. They could have swung that type of deal. But now it's too late. But I have no problem with this. Hopefully the Knicks make a good uh, move come this offseason in terms of getting that backup center. They're going to get somebody else with their mid-level exception. I believe it's going to be a center we're not thinking about. Somebody that's a big, that hasn't played in a while, that maybe a lot of us have forgotten. They're going to use their mid-level to get that player on this team as well, too. If you enjoy these clips from the live show, be sure to subscribe to the channel and have notifications turned on so you don't miss any new episodes or when we go live. Thanks for watching, Nick fans. And until next time, peace.